Okay, I'm going to show you an identification test for the SBC 200. I'm using a DGPIL um, axis, and uh, I'm going to go up to the online menu, commissioning, identification. Uh, before I do that, I just want to show you the status of the, uh, the I.O. Uh, you'll notice that we have input 7, which is the stop. It has to be high. Down here you get the green, and input 9, which is the uh, enable, has to be on. If it's not on, then you lose the ready. If the stop is off, uh, you can't move the axis. The identification test is shown right here. Click Identification, hit Continue. You need to do, at minimum, a static and one dynamic, either with or without the workpiece mass. I'm going to do the static first. Hit start. The axis will uh, start to move and identify all the uh, hardware components and the deficiencies or the discrepancies and adjust for it. That's the whole purpose of this test. Right now the axis is moving back and forth based upon the uh, voltage signal. Not very fast. And that's it for that test. Now we're going to do the dynamic. Let's see that I've got a workpiece mass of 7 kilograms. This is where we're going to move very fast. Oh, I hit, I hit it twice. I keep screwing this up here. Put my load into 7 kilograms, hit start. It's moving in then at high speed. Down here you'll notice that the yellow indicates that we're not in the middle of it, so if I was to cancel it we would know it wouldn't wouldn't be finished. And that's it.